after you've just learnt the general fun, like basics of jiu-jitsu, the most important thing to get good at first is guard retention. Okay, so uh, guard being anytime I'm on my back, like this. Uh, if I never let Liv get past my legs, so passing the guard means she gets past my legs and gets to side control. Now she can submit me. Okay, it's basically impossible for Liv to submit me as long as my legs can stay in front and I can always use my legs to, to prevent her from getting past, okay? Uh, one of the reasons why it's good if you can to get your feet on the biceps, it's very hard for Liv to control my, my shins, okay? So it's hard for her to strip the grip. If my feet are just here, she can hold it and immediately go around the side. If I've got my feet on the bicep, I can start to take the grip I want on her hand. And as I said before, if you control their hand, they can't control your legs. G generally, uh, we'll often be playing seated uh, and blocking so we can get our hands connected first so they can't grab us. Okay, so everything I just talked about before is assuming that Liz managed to actually push me back down. Okay, and now I have all those layers to, to go through. But if you can go before that and actually control her grips, how can she pass me if she can't get a hold of me? Similar to the principle before, I don't want to take my knee away from my chest. I don't want to let my chest go away from the knee as well. So if Liz starts pulling my legs down, I don't let this happen. I sit up, I keep my knees attached to my chest and I've still taken that space away. Okay, so again, we're here, Liz manages to pull down. I will come up with her and I keep my arm frames, and it's hard for her to get around. This is the skill you wanna get really good at really fast, and then it's really hard to lose. Okay, it's really hard to, to get into bad positions like side control, the back, and the mount. So often, the first thing people ask, like, oh, how do I get out of arm bars? It's like, well, there, there are ways to possibly get out, but you're in a pretty bad spot, and it's unlikely to get out of an arm bar. If you instead take it a few steps back and say, I'm gonna get really good at not letting someone pass my guard, you never get stuck in arm bars, okay? There's some people, you know, you wanna get really good at this, all of the top jiu-jitsu competitors in the world have excellent guard retention. There's some people who have never had their guard passing.